The single-seat A-10 Thunderbolt, also referred to as the Warthog, was created for close air support of ground forces. It has been in use with the U.S. Air Force since the 1970s and has established itself as a very potent combat tool. The A-10 Thunderbolt is a powerful weapon, but how dangerous is it exactly? It can fly at low altitudes and sluggish speeds thanks to its long straight wing and twin General Electric TF-34 GE-100 turbofan engines. It has a range of up to 800 nautical miles and a top speed of about 450 knots. The 30mm GAU 8A Avenger rotary gun mounted on the A-10 Thunderbolt can fire up to 4,200 rounds per minute. It also has a range of different weaponry, including rockets, explosives, and missiles. The A-10 is a highly resilient aircraft that can take substantial damage and still land at its home base thanks to its armor plating, bulletproof glass, and redundant flight control systems. Since it was created especially for this use, the A-10 Thunderbolt has excelled as a close air support, CAS, aircraft. A military strategy known as close air support involves using airplanes to assist ground forces that are fighting. The combat performance of the A-10 Thunderbolt has been outstanding, especially in wars like the Gulf War and the war in Afghanistan. Due to financial constraints and the necessity to update the Air Force's fleet, the U.S. Air Force has revealed plans to retire the A-10 Thunderbolt in the upcoming years. However, there has been significant discussion around the decision to retire the A-10, with many saying that it should be kept in service because it is still a very potent weapon in the CAS role. The F-35 Lightning II and the A-29 Super Tucano are two potential alternatives to the A-10 Thunderbolt. However, because of their expensive price and insufficient performance in the KS role, both of these aircraft have drawn criticism. <laughs>